This is part two in the series of plotting vapor liquid equilibrium. In this part, I'm going to focus and underline the importance of visualization during process simulation. In part one, I plotted TPXY of the isopropanol water system, selecting isopropanol as the first component by convention because it is the more volatile, arriving at a text representation and a visual graph representation of the phase behavior. In this case, I'm going to choose a more complex situation. I'm going to plot the phase behavior of benzene and water. Again, benzene has a bubble point below that of water, so I select it as the first component by convention. I'll do the calculations at 20 PSI, I select the visualization again of a text report and XY diagram. First up is the benzene water binary using NRTL solution model parameters that are given in this row. I arrive at a bubble point temperature, the specified pressure, liquid, vapor, compositions for benzene, activity coefficient for benzene, activity coefficient for water, and the fugacity coefficient ratios, both of which are specified as one. To begin the diagnosis, I quickly scan my bubble point temperature column and see that I have a relative minimum at about 0.1 mole fraction benzene and another relative minimum at about 0.9 mole fraction benzene. This looks odd to me. The next scan I look at the relatively large activity coefficients. The activity coefficient of benzene in water does in fact make sense. I know for partially miscible systems that the infinite dilution activity coefficient is approximately equal to 1 over the saturation composition. If the saturation composition is very low, as it is for benzene and water, then the infinite dilution activity coefficient is very large. But these temperatures give me pause. If I look at the XY diagram, I have an hourglass shape with essentially falling vapor composition with rising liquid composition and I know that this type of graph does not make sense. So my diagnosis is that I've made a mistake. I need to investigate. The first place to investigate is in the thermodynamic settings, I've selected NRTL. I know I'm capable of calculating partially miscible systems with NRTL. I have selected no fugacity or pointine correction. This shouldn't lead to a problem. But when I get to the global phase option, I notice that I mandated vapor liquid calculation instead of vapor liquid liquid. So by using visualization I have identified a mistake that I've made in my thermodynamic specifications. I do have NRTL coefficients for all three binaries but most importantly for the water benzene system. ChemCAD wants to recalculate the specifications on my streams. I'll allow it to do that. Now if I plot TPXY for the benzene water system. I find that I get an isothermal system across the finite composition range. This is indicative of a heterogeneous azeotrope, which is what I would expect for benzene and water. I still have the very high activity coefficient for benzene in water and water in benzene at infinite dilution. So this table now looks more consistent with my expectations. 
I look at the yx diagram, I find that across the finite composition range, I have constant vapor composition. This is indicative of heterogeneous azeotrope. These liquid compositions are now bulk compositions and not phase compositions. The actual phase compositions are at a relatively low benzene in water and a relatively low water in benzene. So in part two, what I've done is to use the visualization options available in ChemCAD to diagnose or evaluate my phase equilibria specifications and in this particular case find out that I made a mistake which allows me to investigate, reset my specifications to where they're proper so that now I can proceed with my process simulation calculations. This tip showed you how to use the plot as a diagnostic tool. Thank you for using ChemCAD. For more tips, please visit chemstations.com. My name is Chip Howitt.